Okay, so the next thing that we want to begin to look at, we've kind of looked at the main parts in here, at least uh, some of the main things as far as what we need to do to, in order to control it. We want to go ahead and click over to this orange tab. And in the orange tab, it's called flow control. And in here, we've got a number of different things. We've got our weight block. We've got a loop block. We've got the switch. We've got a loop interrupt. And we're going to use a number of these throughout the time as well. Today, uh, for this first challenge, what we want to use is the loop. And so what we can do is we can drag this loop up here. And the loop is really interesting because the loop allows us to do um, the same program over and over again. So what will happen then is we put our blocks in here. And as it goes through and it does the program, when it gets to the end, it loops back up and around and starts over again. So if there's something that we want our robot to do over and over or multiple times to do the same thing, we can actually put it inside a loop and we can get it to just do that however many times. And that makes it so that it is, uh, makes our programming a lot easier. So let's kind of take a look at what this looks like then. So we've got our loop here and we've got our steering, move steering and I'm going to come up and I'm going to put one in here and I'm going to put this so that it's going to go to five rotations. All right, so this is moving forward five rotations. And then I'm going to add another one as well, kind of at the back here. And I'm going to have this one be negative 75 and 5. So that what we should know is going to happen here is that it's going to drive forward five rotations, and then it's going to drive back five rotations. Then as it gets to the end, it's going to hit the loop, and it's going to come back, and it's going to loop back around. And it's going to go through it again. And it's going to move forward five rotations, move back five rotations, come to the end. Now, we have it here set for unlimited. And if we want it to just keep going for an unlimited amount of time, we can do that. We can leave it do that. Or we can actually um, put a count on it. And we could say if we only wanted it to do that, you know, four times, we could put four there. Um, but for now, we want to just leave it at unlimited, and that's going to give us just a chance to kind of see what happens when we do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in my robot, and then I'm going to go ahead and download it, and then I'm going to go ahead and run it, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've downloaded my loop program, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and run it, and we'll see what happens. It goes forward five, backs up five, forward five, backs up five. And it'll just continue to do this for an unlimited amount of time until I stop it. So to stop it, I can just hit this button right there. And once I hit that, then it'll stop the program.